what is good youtube what is good playstation nation it is your boy persona of gaming with persona host of when persona speaks and one half of the host of what's up playstation podcast every saturday morning at 11 a.m and listen guys uh man oh man the first thing i want to start off by saying is shout out to everybody that's going to listen to this now uh and listen to it later um you know hit the like button subscribe all that good stuff if you enjoy the content i appreciate you guys shout out to my warriors uh but playstation nation listen uh these are going to be my returnal first impressions and i gotta let you guys know off rip this game is amazing it's amazing like and i'm not and and you know playstation nation ladies and gentlemen i know oh well persona it's a playstation no this game really is good like it's a very fun challenging game and i'm enjoying the story so far man i'm enjoying the challenge that is thrown at me uh i'm enjoying you know the fact that you know when, when it comes to uh the skill curve or the skill that's required to really get far in this game i really can appreciate it right like because you know you with you know most times when you die in a game right and you you start and you start back at the beginning most of us would turn the game off right or most of us would be like eh, you know i'll come back to it later right not this game man like how shout out to house mark house mark really did a good job of making the loop when you die feel not rewarding but it feels necessary like oh i died here because i didn't know what was expected now that i know i want to try it again right when you die you feel you feel compelled to want to get back in out there and get to the way you were again because now you know what to expect now you know how you need to play now you know what weapons work and what don't work now you know what consumables artifacts and things like that need to be in your arsenal in order to get to the next level which again i can appreciate uh so for those that are wondering you know this is returnal and it is made by housemark uh and for those that are wondering housemark has made games like alien nation dead nation super stardust hd uh matterfall rezo gun and uh next machina uh game i truly do did enjoy uh when it first came out right so uh let's get straight into it man um you know the the boss fight here that i'm that i'm uh fighting his name is frank and uh, this is the first boss fight in the first area so you're gonna see two boss fights and you're gonna see a little bit of a uh, uh open world combat action gameplay and things like that i hope you guys enjoy um you know sit back relax enjoy it so all right so returnal uh let, let's start off by saying that you know R returnal is it's fun it's fun it's enjoyable uh it's addictive i'm trying to think of some other words to use it's unforgiving at times unpredictable <laughs> right uh and 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 last but not least it's it's very fun to explore and i think that's where i want to start because one of the things i definitely want to tell those that are on the fence about this game or are just now getting into the game right uh explore 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 i know it's very easy to go from point a to point b to point c you know you want to go oh, you know the game is telling me to go here you know to continue the story or to progress to the next area or things like that it's it can be very tempting i get that but it's very important that we ex that you explore in this game right because the way returnal is set up is that yeah you can go straight you know to the next area to the next place the next thing things like that but you're going to have a very hard time defeating enemies if you're not powered up the right way uh with consumables like i say no consumables uh artifacts you know the right weapons you know the, you know whatever weapon you want to use whatever you feel comfortable with but you know getting it leveled up the right uh the right amount of uh, t uh times and you know getting getting your feel right because it's, it's, it's a couple of different weapons in the game 10 if i'm not mistaken there's 10 di there's 10 different weapons in the game and you know you want to get your feel for what your favorite weapon is right so like for me uh m my favorite weapons are uh the this weapon that you see me use right here in the in the in the, in the video which is a uh, this is the poly this is the poly the electro file electro phylon, which it shoots uh for those that play destiny my destiny folks uh it pretty much it's like anarchy right so pretty much it shoots 
an electrical uh, spear or dart or whatever at the enemy and it sticks to surfaces and it can and you can shoot multiple bullets and it'll arc the lightning it, it, it has lightning to it. it's like a lightning rod think of it like that like a lightning rod so you're shooting lightning rods at enemies and it does damage over time very good damage over time right uh it's it, it slowly became one of my favorite weapons in the game uh, another weapon that i do like to use is the um it's the lmg style weapon it's like got a lot of bullets i'm drawing a blank for the name of the uh, name of the damn weapon i'm sure somebody in the chat will, will let me know um but that weapon as well is uh two of my you know favorite weapons in the game uh most of the weapons feel good right um no weapon is bad personally like i've used most of the weapons the hand can uh the not hand cannon this isn't destiny uh the uh the pistol the carbine right the shotgun the lmg the electro phylon uh i think there's probably a couple that i haven't gotten to yet um in terms of like you know different weapons but those are like the main weapons that i've been seeing in my runs and i've used all of them and they all feel good they all have unique perks and unique things to them and unique feels and they all serve a different purpose but for me and how I like to play, the Electro Phylon and the LMG were definitely my favorite weapons to use in the game, right? Um, when it comes to movement, traver traversal, gun mechanics, and things like that, uh, those are things that, I, that, I, that are like very important to me. They're like top of the list important for me personally, right? And when it, came to, uh, when it comes to Returnal, uh, it really does not disappoint. The movement, the mechanics, the gunplay, uh, the dashing, right, uh, the jumping, you know, it feels very fluid, very tight, right? That is something, you know, someone that plays a lot of shooters, both third person and first person, uh, I'm really happy to see that how smart, and I'm not surprised with how smart because they, again, they make a lot of bullet hell games anyway. So, you know, I, I'm really happy to see that how smart was able to really flex their muscles and really go in when it comes to, uh, this game and, 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 and the movement and gun mechanics. I think for those that play shooters and even those that don't play shooters, I do think that you will ha find yourself uh, comfortable and you'll find yourself uh, able to kind of fall in line, for lack of a better term, into how the game wants you to play in terms of mechanics and gunplay. One more thing on the guns too, right? Because I know. Uh, there was a lot of talk about the alt fire right so this game the the game obviously uh takes advantage of the dual sense and the haptic feedback um the haptic feedback and the adaptive triggers and man oh man is that a great experience here right so when it comes to the adaptive triggers uh there's something called alt fire right so with your aim button with your aim trigger which is the l2 if you slightly hold it that's how you aim down sights and that's how you move around and when i first heard this I, I don't want to say I was a bit apprehensive, but I was kind of curious like damn like how are they gonna How are they gonna make that feel? Comfortable to, to have both an aim and an alt fire option on one trigger like that, right? And you know the way I play I tend to hold my buttons really hard, really hard, right? Um, but when it comes to this game it the adaptive trigger force is so strong You won't act you'll know when you when you're aiming you'll know and you'll know when it's too much when you start going into alt fire right uh so the aim you just slightly hold it and that's how you aim and then obviously you shoot with r2 but when it comes to um when it comes to alt fire you hold the aim down all the way and it becomes a different type of alt fire so it becomes a different type of firing pattern so uh so for example let's use the the electro phylon right the the gun that i like to use right so we know that when you're aiming regular and you're shooting the gun it shoots these electric rods that you can you know that does damage over time and things like that right by the way this is like my favorite boss this is such a great boss here um i, I really enjoyed this boss fight so so much i hope you guys enjoy it as well but when it comes to um when it comes to uh the alt fire there's different types of like uh abilities or different types of perks and things like that that come with all fire right so one of one of the perks is um shockwave and so when you hold down the alt fire and you shoot it shoots like this electrical 
electric charge at the enemy, right? Another one is armor piercing, right? An armor piercing alt fire would be where you, when you go into the alt fire mode, it shoots a charged laser blast at the enemy. And usually armor piercing is for like, uh, there's certain, so, so for example, there's certain enemies in the game that have, um, they have like red shields. They have shields that you can only take down with the melee, which is sword. Or if you have the armor piercing alt fire, then that's something that you can use to take down the shield from afar. So you don't really have to risk getting close uh, to the enemies and, and taking damage. Yo, I, yo, I, this is, I, I beat him on the first try here, but man, this, 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 this fight pattern was just, his pattern was really throwing me off. Like you're going to see like at one point, like he like washes me and like takes my life like all the way down. Uh, it's crazy. Um, but really, really fun. Like, yo, look how great this game looks, man. Look, just look at the boss fights looks are just so unique. We'll get into the boss fights in a second. Um, so, you know, that's how alt fire works. Uh, and another thing that I like about the game is you really can customize your, your, your Celine, right? Cause we're all playing the Celine. You can really customize your Celine character how you want. And what I mean by that is with the parasites, with the consumables and with the artifacts, right? Um, there's different builds, if you will, right? It's not a traditional build per se, but it's the things that you can kind of put on your Celine to really suit your play style, give you more survivability and things like that. Uh, there's different builds and different artifacts and things like that within the game that, you know, there is a really nice variety that really does add something cool and great to how you play. So for me, um, one of the best consumables in the game for me personally is the shield vial because the, sh the shield vial has a, uh, a passive, a passive ability where it gives, it protects you regardless of what the damage is. It protects you for one hit without having to use the consumable, which I think is really dope. Right. So like shield vial is definitely one of my favorite consumables, but there's other consumables like the syringe. I think it's called the syringe where like, you know, that's pretty much how you get. It's pretty much like a potion. Right. Um, then they have like, you know, another one is like um, malfunction uh, fixer or something like that. I forget the name of it, but essentially it, it removes any malfunctions off of uh, different artifacts or uh, a special uh special abilities or special equipment that you may get and so to kind of go into that you know because you're like because you guys are like what the hell is malfunctions so um there's certain certain types of artifacts or uh certain things that you get in the game that can make your Celine uh stronger or, or or much more better you know better survivability and things like that they'll be like tainted or poisoned or, or, or corrupt. And so in the game, they call that malfunctions. And so the re the way you get rid of the malfunction is when you pick up one of these corrupted artifacts or, or a corrupted piece of uh, gear, whatever, um, a consumable, whatever, when you pick it up, there's going to be a requirement that you have to uh, perform to get to, to pretty much cleanse the 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 item right so say i pick up a tainted uh say i pick up a tainted shield vial right if i pick it up and it's malfunctioned what uh the requirement for that to get rid of the malfunction would be pick up uh you know kill uh uh fabricate an item and fabricating an item is, is is essentially uh like you know um customization like customize an item right that's that's essentially what that is uh you know another type of requirement may be you know melee five enemies you know kill five enemies using melee another one would be uh like you see like you see it here uh you see like you know after the cutscene you'll see if you look at the top left of the screen you'll see the malfunction requirements that i need to follow that i need to follow to get rid of that that you know to, to cleanse that piece and so the other part of it too is the malfunction gives you negative effects. So if you look at the top left, you'll see my malfunctions for this specific, uh, these two pieces of uh, uh, items that I'm trying to get, that I'm trying to cleanse. Uh, one is lose uh, obol, obol tests when uh, when suffering damage. And obol, obol uh, tests are pretty much like your currency 
for a tropus that's your currency and then you see the other one and then you see the requirement to remove that negative uh negative effect is to fabricate an item so i have to fabricate an item to get rid of that malfunction uh with the second one, second one you see it says suffer damage when using keys so if i use a key one of the atropian keys to open like a locked door or something like that i'm gonna take damage how do i get rid of that i have to collect an artifact so you know through exploration through the world uh you know if i if i find an artifact that's not uh that's not corrupt or if i find like a kiosk or something like that where i can create an artifact um using the obel test then that would remove that malfunction from there and whatever the special item is that's 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 tainted or malfunction uh that would be you know that would be cleansed and then i would gain the uh bonus or whatever it is for that for that specific item i like that right because it, it keeps you on your toes right you're not just getting super powerful and you get op and you just run through the game no it it really keep it, there's checks and balances within the game that really keep you it keeps you on your toes one it keeps you guessing right because when you when you walk up to a, a malfunction or a, a tainted item it tells you how high because there's a chance of it being malfunctioned when you pick it up right the chance can be high the chance can be moderate the chance can be low uh since playing the game all my chances have been either moderate or high when it comes to the malfunction right um so the effect of the malfunction if it's moderate or high you know moderate could be like you know so for instance a moderate malfunction may be again taking damage you lose obel tests right but then a high malfunction uh i remember one time during one of my runs the malfunction was uh whenever i whenever my gun overloaded i would take damage so like you know you shoot your gun and you shoot all the bullets out and then you see like that little red bar that was over my um over my uh aiming uh that oh it's overloaded so if i had that malfunction where i would take damage anytime my gun overloaded or overheated or whatever i would take damage that's crazy right so there's there's this checks and balances and things like that within the game that really that really like keep you on your toes keep you guessing and again like i said like i said earlier when it comes to this game when it comes to um how you play right definitely explore the world right so everyone starts in overgrown uh everyone starts in overgrown ruins and then the second area is um shit i forgot the second i forgot the name of the second area um but it's more like a like a, a desert egyptian style area because like you see a lot of mummified statues and things like that it's a really cool area man they like house mark really did a good job with these areas because they all because like i said i'm only in the third area right i'm only in the third biome which is the citadel right which is uh the, where the radio tower is and things like that and you know even just being there like you know all three areas look and feel different and you know i have to really give house mark like really give house mark kudos here because this is like a true level up for them man because they really are providing a triple a roguelite uh bullet hell experience with that house mark feel it feels like a house mark game very unique the enemies are definitely uh the, the enemies are definitely tough challenging right uh they can almost even be a bit unforgiving because i remember like you know i died when i died when i was playing when the game first came out um i was playing and it was you know it was a couple of enemies it wasn't really too crazy but then when i died and came back the second time i'm going through some of these areas i'm exploring they were spawning a lot more enemies i remember one of my runs uh, i wasn't anticipating it to be like no lie guys it was like maybe 12 enemies that spawned and they were like rushing me it was these bat things what are they called the bats are called the um the bats are called the Lamaya, the Lamayadons. That's what they're called. The bats. They're called the Lamayadons. And yo, man, they spawned like 12 of these things and they were going in. It was crazy. Um, but very enjoyable. I was like, yo, because it was like late at night, and I was like, oh shit, what's going on? Um, speaking of which, I, I do want to touch on a bit of like the story pieces, right? So uh, you know I'm, no spoilers obviously i'm not going to really give no spoilers here but the, you know one of the things that like i really can appreciate about the game is you know it's telling the story you know through like the the it tells the story through the 
audio files and things that you find from your previous dead bodies of you right uh and then obviously there's certain like cut scenes and things like that right but one of the scenes that like really like had me like in awe right is the house scene now I, I, for those that haven't played the game yet and are uh plan to play the game um i won't really i won't spoil it for you but all i'll say is you know it was peak pt vibes right uh it definitely had a really good horror feel to it right i, I really enjoyed it really liked it um and the story itself is interesting because you know like i said it's the audio files there's certain cutscenes here and there most of it is just you just playing the game and exploring and like she, and like celine she'll talk to herself um like as you like roam around and get to like new areas you see new things and things like that so that's kind of how you're getting the story of like you and selena like discovering this world together right and like oh you know what is this and so the civilization here on atropus uh they call them the sentience right so like there's like different little uh history vaults where like it kind of gives you like a little synopsis of certain things that were happening on the planet with the sentience which was which is really cool so you know when it comes to the story elements it's really uniquely presented to you how they do it because it's not just cut scenes right it's not just go to point a point b point c like i said through exploration through going through the worlds and going to the secret areas going to the side doors and special areas and things like that you really do get a a a much more grander scope of you know the trial and error that the previous Selene's were going through uh different types again different types of uh, uh understandings when it comes to the sentience and and enemies and things like that it's fun it's great like you know honestly honestly guys it, it's a really great fun experience um and you know the gaming sessions are not that bad to me either right um i know like a lot of uh, there's a couple people that are, like you know concerned about oh you know i don't you know to get through like a like one game session to be like 60 to 90 minutes and things like that i'm gonna tell you guys straight up uh especially today i've been playing like most of today yo man the time flew by like i was really engaged in the game where i didn't even notice the time you know i looked up and it was two or three hours later you know and i'm like damn man like i really like was really going hard on the game you get what i'm saying and it, it's just a great experience it's a great fun game i really do enjoy uh this game like quite a bit um a lot actually and you know uh, uh what else do i want to talk about i think you know another thing too like the boss fights right the boss fights are very unique now granted i've only fought two bosses i've only fought, fought the first two bosses which is frank and uh zion is that his name? Like, we're going to see his name show up right now. I, I call him Zion or Exxon or something like that. Exxon Mobile or some shit like that. <laughs> you know, what What his name is. I forget his name, right? Uh, I'm bad with names, guys. Um, the, bo the But these first two bosses that I fought, very unique. Very, they both fight very differently. Especially this second boss. This guy was all over the place. Like, I feel like that first boss might have been a tutorial boss because this dude here this this guy like he's flying all over the place he's he's shooting all these orbs like yo man this this guy is crazy bro like i really was enjoying it though i was into it right really really great um another thing also to kind of keep in mind like i'm trying to think of like a negative i mean honest with you guys i really don't have none like not right not right now right um the oh yeah the enemy types too right like outside of the bosses like the enemy types uh the yo listen uh these enemies don't play um listen guys uh treat every enemy with caution <laughs> that's really that's really all i'm gonna say treat every single enemy with caution because I, I i'm being honest with you guys uh these enemies do not play uh they will surround you they will like oh this yo this right here just looks so beautiful uh but yo the enemies do not play the enemy variety is great right uh, it's definitely a good variety especially as you get to the other areas right so the first area you know you got like the the dog like creatures and things like that then you get to the second area which is more of those tactical enemies right now me being in the third area i'm seeing more uh machine machine like enemies uh in the third area it's it's pretty it's pretty it's pretty wild i, I gotta be honest with you guys um but so far man first impressions the game is great man i, I love the game 
uh, I, I can't wait to get back into it. You know, uh, I, I love it. Am I going to platinum it? Uh, yes. <laughs> Come on, guys. You, you know me. Of course I'm platinum in the game, right? <laughs> um, but yeah, man. So these are my first impressions, guys. I love the game. The game is great. Um, if you've got a PlayStation 5, I definitely do recommend it. Uh, but, you know, just keep in mind, guys. It is going to be, it is challenging. It ain't easy, right? And it ain't like super difficult, but it is a challenge and it's definitely gonna require you to kind of think outside the box a little bit. And like I said, one of my number one tips, guys, uh, explore, if you are gonna play the game, if you are gonna pick the game up, explore the world. Don't just rush the point A to point B, definitely explore, definitely do some trial and error, you know, so you can understand how the enemies fight, their movements and things like that. Um, definitely trial and error, but I promise uh, you will have fun um hopefully you haven't having as much fun as i will but yeah guys uh, i'm gonna get back to some more returnal so like i said guys these were my first impressions i really do hope you enjoyed if you did enjoy uh you know please you know like comment subscribe uh, that's much appreciated and uh yeah man uh you guys have a good night enjoy the re enjoy the rest of this gameplay peace